to the uh, December 2nd, 2015 Memorial Island Advisory Committee meeting. And I'd like to call the meeting to order and begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. And um, Curtis, if you'd lead, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, uh, the November 4th minutes uh, were uh, distributed by um, email for everyone to review. Are there any recommended changes for the uh, last month's minutes? Make a motion we approve. Okay. There's Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Very good. All right. Moving right along to the election of officers. Um, is there a recommendation for chairman? The group? I'd like to recommend that uh, our current chairman stay on and continue to lead the charge for us. Okay. Second. Are there any other recommendations? Mm. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, well, thank you. There. Um, and then um, uh, nominations for a vice chairman uh, on the group? Would Elma Lee be willing to stay on and get, as vice chair? Who? who who better could we have to help lead us than that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, is, that's a motion. I'll second that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You all are too kind. <laughs> Very good. We like that out real quick. All right. Oh. Um, for the audience out there, if you see, we have um, one of the few existing trisomies in existence. And a trisomy is an organism that has three sets of chromosomes instead of just two. And those are poinsettias. So um, um, the poinsettia next to Rita is my thank you for her outstanding support for the year. And this one here is for Miss Amelie. Oh, and on. this is Barbara's as well. So um, I just want to say thank you to the to the fair folks that make this all possible this year, and um, to you gentlemen, I appreciate it as well. Um, um, and um, it means a lot. So um, well, thank you so much. That would be okay. beautiful. Thank you. Um, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be uh, the beginning of Christmas without some uh, uh, Yuletide red there. And, uh, so that's cool. Okay, um, again, I would just like to um, welcome those that would like to attend the uh, meeting. It's open to the public, and the public is encouraged to come. It, it sounds like uh, most of the business is just um, routine, but I would just say that uh, we are always looking for uh, good ideas and, and welcome and ways to honor uh, veterans because that was the intent of the island. Okay. Um, new business. Moving to the heritage marker. Uh, Mr. Dexter, please. Uh, good morning. Don Dexter with Public Works. Uh, the heritage marker was installed the day before Veterans Day. And uh, <laughs> we'd like to thank uh, Tim from the state who manages the markers and takes care of them. He uh, really did a great job of getting that back to us in time. And we very much appreciate the, the extra effort he put into to getting it to us. And um, so it's up. We've made the bed a little bit bigger around it to uh, help protect it from a wayward uh, lawnmower or anything else that may be there. So hopefully uh, we won't have any more uh, any more bangs on the, the marker, but uh, we're, we'll do our best to keep that bed a little bigger. Okay. And the marker looks fantastic. It does, yeah. It really looks sharp. So mm -hmm. uh, I think he said he had 19 letters to repair after they welded it back together. So, yeah. And then apparently he uses solder or something to build the letters up and mm -hmm. then has to paint everything again. So it's, it's no, quite the, an effort. The, and the paint job looks amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, you know, I just want to say thank you to that lawnmower fella. 
<laughs> well, <let's... laughs> so that, that's good. Okay, um, and then the second point there on the electrical outlet repair. Well, we spoke about it yesterday because I looked at the agenda and was kind of surprised. I didn't know we had any problems. And Tony explained that uh, it actually it was our vocalist when she got a little too close to the mic, it overloaded the sound system and it caused it to to pop on and off for a, a couple seconds during the ceremony. So, uh, the, electrical outlets are all in good shape. The uh... The inside secrets to ceremonies from Vero Beach. Uh, we, we, we uh, on the rehearsal, we, uh, Bob Greco plugged in the uh, audio system, and there was no power. And immediately, within before the rehearsal was done, the plug was changed. And then, in the course of the ceremony, there was a momentary thing, and I said, hmm, maybe the plug had gone south, but no, that's not the case. Evidently. The microphone is high tech. It's a, a dynamic microphone. And so if you're right next to it and you're built out, God bless America, mm -hmm. uh, the fuse on the power connection does not like you. And, <laughs> and, and, but, but surprisingly, Bob had had this encountered before with a guitarist, and he was able to make the change, and so there was only a momentary delay. So, no, just just a, um, a slight glitch. You know, what a combination between you all and, and the rec mm -hmm. services. I want to say thanks. That's mm -hmm. good. All right. Ma'am, it, it comments on Veterans Day from the Recreation Department. I do have a few. Okay. I have a few comments from Rob. He estimated there was about 750 people there, mm -hmm. and he's said everything went great. It was a great event. And that's about it. And he should probably be here soon if he has anything to add. <laughs> well, I, I want you to know that I, I did talk to Rob yesterday, mm -hmm. and I interrogated him. And I, and, I, and I said, looking at it critically, I mean, were there something from the wreck side of the house? Because we had the Boy Scouts put up the the, the tent there. He said, no, that went splendidly. Mm -hmm. um, we had the kids from the Beachland Elementary in the middle of the circle. Mm -hmm. That went well. Um, the water distribution was great. Um, the exchange club on the bridge uh, handing out uh, flags. The flow there went well. And um, the golf carts also, I believe, uh, went uh, went well as in addition. Excellent, so, great event. You guys I, I don't, put together I don't, a great event. I don't event. know of any. One of the biggest, one of the nicest things with was that that bunch of Boy Scouts, and they got around with the water mm -hmm. because it got pretty warm <laughs> in yeah. certain spots. Yeah. yeah, there was a lot, a lot more shade, and a lot more people were in the shade, but those youngsters from Beachland who were sitting right out in, in the circle and they began to wilt. <laughs> and boy, that water really came in handy. And those scouts were on it just like that. So yeah, that was great. it was a big help if you can talk to that troop leader. Okay. I will see what I can do. Okay. All right. And just everything you all do was awesome. I mean, um, and, and nobody, nobody realizes that Bob picks up the water ahead of time and puts it on ice and, and it's brought out. So please just let everybody know we appreciate it. I will. We have great okay. staff. Okay. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> all right. I want to say thank you to Alma Lee for covering uh, last month for me. I was away. And uh, the initial review of the annual report was done. Uh, I reviewed it as well. And thanks to the sharp eye and recommendations, the, the cover of it is beautiful with the uh, yeah. new, uh, newly renovated, lest we forget, memorial. And then one very uh, sharp-looking young Marine uh, in uh, salute at the, uh, at the wreath. Are there any... Um, any comments in regards to the annual report for uh, for 2015? I think it looks great. Uh, the, the young Marine there is Heath Harris, by the way, and uh, someone I've known for, since he was a little boy. He's a black belt in my karate school, and I've known him since he was a tiny little guy. He's not so tiny anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and he's the uh, parachute rigger in the Marine Corps, and there's only 157 uh, parachute riggers in the Marine Corps. And he's away now at, at uh, jump master training, so he'll he'll be wow. have a, a good career should he continue on. I've I've been to the uh, parachute riggers 
uh, home in, in uh, the last thing you want to have is jump out of an aircraft and not have your parachute properly rigged. Oh, it would be the last. <laughs> oh, the last thing that is not a good morning. <laughs> oh, it's not, not a good morning. Uh, yeah. But anyway, I'm, I'm, I don't know about you all, but I'm real proud of this report. We have had a busy year. We have. We really have, and we've had so much support from the from the general public and the veterans organizations and. This report pretty well capsules it, uh, so I'm delighted that we have the opportunity to to present it to the members of the city council. Right, okay. I, I think that um, it speaks well of of our efforts, and mm -hmm. uh, it's a team team sport without a doubt. Um, <laughs> it really is, and I just want to reiterate uh, my thanks. Um, to Peggy Lyons, mm. um, her help with uh, the uh, changes to the uh, to the regulation. Um, my thanks to everybody on the on the committee here. Um, and I did want to make note of we had um, one of our founding members passed uh, this last year, and um, um, Pe uh, Judy Voros. Yeah. And and that's important to recognize. And I also want to say thanks to one of our members that contributed for a part of the year, Ken Daig. Uh, thanks so much as well. Um, and we stand in good financial status. We sure do. Um, <laughs> we ended up the year as of December having made the renovations that we've done. And we did renovations to the Pearl Harbor Monument. Mm -hmm. uh, we added a we replaced a cenotaph, and we renovated the Lest We Forget monument. Um, having done all that, uh, we still closed out the year with fourteen thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. And so, as we look to the future in areas to maintain the island uh, around, um, we have that at our disposal. And so, uh, from the audience, if you have uh, a love for um, recognizing veterans and uh, the history of Indian River County. Uh, don't forget, um, we will carefully steward any contributions to the uh, island. Thank you. Okay, very good. good. Um, Chairman's Matters, um, every... Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Chairman's Matters, uh, a couple things I wanted to highlight. Um, we'll... Mention the three um, veterans on the island um, for the, for November, and when we do, I just want to make note ahead of time. Uh, one of the individuals I was able to talk to his his son, and um, when you when you read um, the letters from the commanders of these men that were killed in combat. Um, you gain an insight on what it means to stand for your country. And um, the, the, the three things that was brought out from one of them was um, his devotion to duty. And, um, <laughs> and I want to mention that because the um, dedication for the people on the committee here is, is synonymous with devotion to duty, to understand that what you're accomplishing is important to the city of Vero Beach and Indian River County. It's not, it's not just simply um, a formality. And, um, and I want to say thanks uh, to you on that. The second thing I wanted to mention as well was uh, on Monday is December 7th. And December 7th, uh, for all of us that can... Uh, uh, remember our history was Pearl Harbor and um, there's a monument on, on the island for the Pearl Harbor survivors there is one Pearl Harbor survivor that is Indian River County um, that may be at the Sebastian ceremony which is next Monday at, at 1230 at the Riverview Park um, but when I spoke to Michael Hyde in regards to um, piping for that ceremony. He, he, he mentioned to me that um, before the Japanese struck Pearl Harbor, about um, 
13, I believe it's 13 minutes before, there was a freighter out in the Pacific that was sunk by a Japanese um, Zero, and um, I wasn't aware of that. Now, all the hands were lost. Um, so before Pearl Harbor was the loss of this maritime ship, and as getting ready to come in here, I saw a book on the Atlantic and the defense of the Atlantic, and that made me turn to the page that I had earmarked for, um, for the Reuben James. And the Reuben James was a destroyer that was sunk before the beginning of World War II in the Atlantic. And uh, one of our uh, young men, Gene Evans. Gene Evans, was aboard that and was, well, was lost uh, to the Ger German submarines. So all of these lives um, come together as you, as you look at the island and you walk around and, and uh, just um, take advantage of it um, and uh, enjoy the island. Um, so, um, can we speak about the uh, veterans, uh, Sergeant Brooks, please? Sure. Staff Sergeant David Brooks, United States Marine Corps, killed in action July 28, 1968. Staff Sergeant David Lee Brooks was a Marine with six years of service. As a senior NCO, he was making the United States Marine Corps a career. David was the son of Oscar and Dorothy Brooks. He was born on May 22, 1943, and married Marilyn Woods of Vero Beach in December of 62. <clears throat> Excuse me. He was killed in action while serving in the Quang Nan province of South Vietnam on July 28, 1968. At the time, his family was awaiting his return to Naples, Italy, where they had quarters. His obituary states Marilyn and his sons David Lee and Daniel Lee were of Vero Beach. Dan said he was only three when his dad was killed. His father was buried in the Brooks family plot in Orlando, Flo I'm sorry, Oxford, Florida, at the Pinewood Cemetery. Marilyn's, Marilyn said Dan has many of his father's mannerisms and outlook. Both were mechanically inclined, of athletic build, and good natured. Plus, they were calm under pressure. That day in 68, Sergeant Brooks, or Staff Sergeant Brooks' unit was ambushed. Kilo Company 3, Battalion 7, Marine, 1st Marine Division, lost 20 men. In the pitched battle of the Marines fought with distinction. The Medal of Honor and two Silver Stars were awarded in evidence in the book, Growing Up in Vietnam, by a fellow Marine of David's unit, Thomas Vogel wrote, Dan, it was a privilege to serve with you, with your father, during the last days. I wish you could have known of his greatness. Staff Sergeant Brooks was on his last mission before returning home. He was shot by an enemy soldier from a spider hole. His commander wrote, David had been with the battalion for a long time. His professionalism, devotion to duty, leadership, and willingness to serve won for him the respect of all who knew him. David was 25. His cenotaph is located in column C, row 3. He was highlighted on November 10th. Okay. Please. Sergeant First Class Charles Frank Smith, United States Army, killed in action August 26, 1968. Sergeant First Class Charles Frank Smith was a native of Vero Beach and was born June 9, 1938. His parents were Harry W. and Lillian V. Smith. He was the youngest of three boys and attended Vero Beach High School. His picture may be found in the 1957 Arrowhead. He enlisted in the Army that year during combat actions in Binh Thuan, province of South Vietnam. He was killed August 26, 1968 in a mine detonation. Frank was assigned to Company C, 31st Engineer Battalion, 34th Engineer Group, 20th Engineer Brigade. He was promoted posthumously pr promoted to Sergeant First Class. Sergeant First Class Smith was survived by his wife, Marcella B. Smith, three sons, Keith, Scott, and Charles Jr., and a daughter, Tammy, all of Vero Beach. He was buried with full military honors in Crestlawn Cemetery. His cenotaph is located in column eight, excuse me, column B, row 11. He was 30 years old, and he was highlighted on November 17th. Private First Class Magnus Carl Nielsen, United States Marine Corps, killed in action August 31st, 1968. Private First Class Magnus Carl Nielsen was born July 31st, 1949. He is the namesake of his grandfather, an immigrant from Denmark. 
The elder Nielsen married Bertha Morrison on July 15, 1933 in Vero Beach. Private First Class Nielsen, known as Carl, was the son of Frederick K. and Ernest Peacock Nielsen. Carl attended Vero Beach High School and was the president of the junior class. He entered military service and completed basic training at Paris Island in 1967. His Vietnam tour began July 28, 1968. He was assigned as a rifleman to Lima Company, 3rd Battalion, 9th Marine Regiment, 3rd Marine Division. A month later, uh, he was a friendly fire casualty in the Quang Tri province. On uh, September 16, 1968, he was buried with military honors. His grandmother, Ada M. Burke, con contributed his Crestlawn Cemetery plot in uh, Section G, Lot 27. Carl was only 19. His awards include the Purple Heart. He was memorialized in, on the Vietnam Memorial Wall on panel 45W, line 16. His cenotaph is located in column F, row 10. He was highlighted on local news magazine, uh, on the local news magazine on November 27th. Okay. Um, November had four weeks, <laughs> and you may wonder what happened to November 3rd. We just took that week and focused on the uh, Veterans Council activities, so that's why there was uh, three for the four weeks of November. Okay. Um, lastly, for uh, my matters, I just want to highlight the fact that um, Home Depot came to me three days before Veterans Day and said we would like to do something to help out uh, with the ceremony on Memorial Island. Would you like flowers or, or flags or anything like that? <laughs> and I was kind of startled that I thought about it for a minute and I said, well, by all means. Um, and, and so um, I went out and I want to say thank you to Anthony and the manager there at, at Home Depot because I picked them up the next day and drove them over to Memorial Island and showed them the Cenotaph Square. And he says, well, what are you thinking? And I said, well, some red, red, white, and blue for the memorials would be great. I said, but I don't have time to, to shadow you around, and it gets crowded here very quickly before Veterans Day. Um, so he says, well, when do you want them? And I said, well, you know, 7 o'clock in the morning probably would be good. He says, so it's taken care. So literally early in the morning, they brought a truck over with the trays of plants that were red and white, and my understanding is they solicited to some of the Boy Scouts to assist them. In, and so on the 78 markers, they put these plants that were in, in flower and then handed the uh, uh, flags to the kids to distribute. So uh, I just want to say thank you to the community of Vero Beach and specifically Home <coughs> Depot for stepping forward and offering to help. You know, it's, it's what makes our, our, our county special. And um, oh, it's a it's a it's a nice thing to have. So, members, I've, I've wondered where those came from, <laughs> and the, and those flags, you know, yeah. I think um, those were those were nice too. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm glad to know Home Depot mm -hmm. did that. It, 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 it come to find out that the manager for Home Depot served in the military. <laughs> I believe he was a, a Marine uh, for a number of years. Uh, so there, there's a connection behind. So, anything else from the group? I'd just like to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. And um, a special shout out to a gentleman that's done a lot for the military here in Indian River County for the veterans organizations, as to say, to Joseph Matarana. Have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Joe. We're thinking about you all the time. And did you want to mention something about the Italian American uh, social? Um, I'll talk about that. No, later. okay. Thanks. Right. John, anything else? No. Um, uh, John is a busy man this time of year. He Ooh. gets his elf attire on and, and is at the uh, jewelry <laughs> sh store to make sure everybody else is happy. Yeah, I'm on elf duty for sure. <laughs> you got to have Carlo post that or something. <laughs> All right. Only if he dresses up as an elf. All right, Joel. Uh, I just want to say the same thing uh, about Memorial Island there on, on, on Veterans Day. It was an absolutely wonderful success, the, the drum Masters Academy Fife and Drum Corps. Mm. It was unusual to hear music like that in this day and age, and it was good to hear those kids uh, play those, that music like that. Same with the, the choir group out there from Beachland Elementary. Mm. Absolutely. 
that's what it's all about. I wish we could have more uh, participation from young men and young women like that. And thanks to Dr. Sammons and Paige Howell and Absolutely. the Burbage High School band. Absolutely. That's what I'm doing. And, uh, <coughs> so, that's man. what that's all about. Yes. I'm, I've got a special announcement. And this goes to the audience that we have right now, I think will be very interested, in, and rightfully so. On Sunday afternoon, December the 13th, in other words, a week from this coming Sunday, there will be a free concert in the, put on by the Vera Beach High School Band, and it's a holiday concert, and it is for everybody in this community. And the reason I'm making a, a, a special note about it is because this concert, of course, will be in the Performing Arts Center, and I would suggest people come early, even though they have a lot of seats, because during the intermission of this concert, there will be a dedication of the Performing Arts Center Auditorium to James M. Salmon. Outstanding. It's going to happen, and I know the veterans, and we have counted on that band so many times, so many years, to provide music at our events. And I think, um, I think, I know. In fact, I know the veterans want to be represented as well as the rest of us. But this is a time to come out and say thank you to Jim Salmons who has been extremely influential in the lives of probably over a thousand students in the last 30 years. So I just wanted you all to know about it, and I want everybody else to know about it, and come out and, and enjoy the concert and be there for the dedication. And Merry Christmas to everybody. <laughs> See, that, that's de December 13th. What, what time is that? Two o'clock. Two I'm sorry. Okay. Two, two o'clock in the Performing Arts Center, Vero Beach High School. Fantastic. Okay. Um, I echo everybody's recommendations. And again, Merry Christmas. Uh, Happy Hanukkah. God bless you. And Miss Rita, thank you so much for your support. And um, Mr. Seti Manager, I know you're going to might look at this. Going to might. <laughs> no Jim, thank you for the for your help. Um, the, the the city staff is phenomenal, and I appreciate it wholeheartedly. This may I have a motion to close the meeting. So uh, our, our next Second. meeting will be on the sixth of January, twenty sixteen. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm.